Hello, and welcome to TC Life Safety's Tech Tips. I'm Dave Peterson, and tonight we're going to be talking about flame detectors. Flame detectors are a special application, usually used in explosive uh, environments uh, because of their fast action and because of how they actually detect fl uh, flames and fire. Uh, there's two types, ultraviolet. Ultraviolet detectors work in the ultraviolet spectrum of the of the light, visible light. UVs at one end, infrared is at the other end, and those are the two type of detectors we'll be talking about. The ultraviolet is a very fast acting, uh, quick response detector. Usually between three and four microseconds, this thing can react to a flame. Problem with them is that they're prone to false alarms from normal everyday stuff like sunlight, uh, arc welding, uh, lightning, environmental stuff. So they're usually and typically set into dark environments, mines, uh, coal shafts, uh, 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 any kind of a, of a place where you, there's, you're in an enclosure and you're not going to be exposed to any of those, um, those elements. The other thing that's problematic with the UV detectors is they're blind in dust, smoke, uh, if there's an oil film uh, on the lens, uh, it blinds them. They can't see through those types of things. So if you're in a dirty environment, the UV detector is just not going to work for you. Infrared, on the other hand, works in the near-infrared spectrum. And what that does is that actually counts flame flickers, basically. Um, all different types of products of combustion have a different flicker rate, and these infrared detectors can be programmed to look for infrared signature. Or if you have multiple infrared detection, you have uh, units that have two and sometimes three IR detectors built in. Each one could be looking for a different spectrum of flicker so that you can look for multiple um, products of combustion. They are not prone to false alarms. They do not respond to lightning or sunlight. And they can see through dust, smoke, if there's an oily film on the lens. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty robust devices. But again, they're slow because they have to read the flicker and, and process the information. And then there's the UVIR detectors. This, this is one here. This is a tantalum UVIR detector. And it's the best of both worlds. It has the speed of the ultraviolet detector and it has the discrimination of an infrared detector so that this kind of device would be a high speed, very discriminating device uh, for, uh, you know, ember detection, uh, high speed stuff. Um, all of these units, the UV and the IR and the UV IR detectors, are all pretty much basically looking at the same kind of fuel loads. Alcohol, kerosene, diesel, uh, Hydrogen, methane, LPG, LNG, wood, paper, sulfur, solvents. And again, they can be programmed to look at a specific mix. So if you have a special application, they can be pre-programmed for those particular fire signatures. Most of these devices have a field of view of anywhere from 90 to 120 degrees. I mean, they can see a broad area and they have a range of up to 200 feet. So they can take in a large amount of area. It's especially handy for outside applications, tank farms, uh, airplane hangars, aircraft hangars, where there's a, you know, a lot of open space. Um, these detectors are not cheap. They're expensive. Um, so having this kind of an open range is good. But the other thing you have to take into consideration is that these detectors are, are protecting property and areas that if they weren't there and there was a fault, a failure, a fire in a tank farm, uh, in any of these explosive environments, the cost of the detector is minimal compared to the, the outcome of, of a disaster like a tank farm going up. Some of the places these things are commonly used at, MDF factories, coal mining, uh, nuclear facilities, pharmaceuticals, 
metal fabrication power plants, um, tunnels, hangars, gas turbines, engine rooms, um, anywhere where there can be an explosive environment and a, and a catastrophe waiting to happen. Um, so, if you think you might be able to use one of these, if you're working in something or some place that has any kind of explosive environment, any of the fuel loads that we talked about earlier, give us a call. We'll hook you up with the correct detector based on what you look to be protecting against. And um, we'll be able to help you out. Just call the number that's floating across the bottom of the screen and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a life safety day.